Hi there, I just wanted to show you how you could use the discussion area inside of Canvas and specifically how you could include images into your discussion posts. If you have a discussion post inside of Canvas and you simply click the reply button, it will take you to the area where you can write a reply to a specific post. So you could go ahead and write any sort of text if you wanted to. Sometimes it's easier to copy and paste text from another application. You can certainly do that as well, or you can simply type inside of Canvas. If you look at this upper section of the reply window, you will be able to make changes to how your text is formatted. So you can change the size of the text. You can change the type of text. So if you wanted to create a heading or a paragraph or whatever, you could go ahead and do that. You can create bold, italic, underline, you can change the color of the text, and you can change the background color or the highlight of the text. This icon right here will allow you to create superscript or subscript. The link icon is a way that you can create a link to an external page or file. So if you wanted to embed a link into your post, you could do that here. And right next to the link is where we can include an embedded image. If we click the arrow button, on this icon, you can see that we have two choices. We can either upload an image or we can use user images. User images are an option if you already have uploaded any images into Canvas. We'll be concentrating on upload image and we're just going to assume that you have not included any sort of image into Canvas. Once you click upload image, it's going to display the upload image dialog box. And as you can see in this main section, you can either click to browse on your computer or you could drag and drop an image to this location. That is what I'm going to do for this demonstration. I'm gonna grab an image from my computer and simply drag it to this window. And Canvas is going to give me a preview of what the image is going to look like. If you accidentally get the wrong image, you can just hit the trash can and start over. But if this is the image you want, you can go ahead and utilize this image. Alt text is just going to be alternate text in case the image has some sort of issue and doesn't show up. From a usability standpoint, it's always important to include the alt text. And the option that you're going to want under display option is you're going to want to embed the image. This will ensure that the image is going to show up within your post. When you click submit, you can see that the image is going to be placed into the post. Now, because my image is extremely large, it's going to take up a huge portion of the post. If this is the case, you can simply click on the image and you will see that you get a blue outline around the image. And if you grab from one of the corners, you can resize the image. And as you resize the image, you'll get a little overlay that is going to specify the new size of the image. So you can scale this down to be whatever size is appropriate for your particular post. In addition to that, you can click image options. This will open up the image options, which will allow you to change the alt text if you need to, and you can adjust the size. So if I wanted to change the size to 300 pixels, I could simply make that change. Right now I'm using pixels, but you can also scale an image using percentages. I'll click done to accept those changes. And now the image has been resized and is displaying within my post. If you want the image to not appear right next to your text, you'll simply click return to have the image appear on its own line. I did want to point out that embedding the image using this method is different from using the attach feature. If you click attach, you'll be prompted to choose a file. And once again, you'll need to navigate on your computer and find an image. I'll just select the same image. And once I've chosen that image, if I go ahead and click post reply, you will see that the embedded image, the first image that we use shows within my post. The attached image is going to be a link. And in order for anyone to view the attached image, they would have to click this and it's going to download this to the user's computer. In most cases, you'll probably want to embed an image into the post so that a user can see it within the post. And now you know how to embed an image 
inside of Canvas in your discussion posts.